hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is nolita chabani if it's your first time here a very special welcome to you if you are returning thank you for your continuous support in today's video i'll be talking about what a leadership is we will just get into understanding what leaderships are how they work application process and what it is that you will get at the end once you have completed a learnership. A learnership is a work-based learning program that leads you to getting an NQF uh, registered qualification. So they are directly related to the field of work that you're in. If you're in a bank, you're likely to get a qualification uh, related to the banking industry. So learnerships are managed by the sector of education and training authorities or CITAS. They were introduced by the government uh, to ensure that learners are prepared for the workplace. Now, uh, learnership programs can help you to gain uh, skills, workplace experience, and this in turn then opens up better employment opportunities, or you can uh, even start uh, to have your own um, company, which is a self-employment opportunity. You would be required in the learnership to sign an agreement which is legally binding. This would be an agreement between the employer, yourself as a learner and the training provider. So the, the agreement will detail, you know, what is expected of you, the duties that you will do that are required by the employer um, and the training provider as any contract should will then protect each party's uh, rights. So the learnership then, um, you know, is a fixed term employment contract with the company and you are studying towards a qualification at the same time, which is great. And then the qualification also has to be NQF aligned and um, also the cost then for the qualification is for the company, meaning you won't get to pay. So once you are co uh, done with the learnership, then the learnership will end and the contract then ends. Uh, learnerships are quite important because they, they promote um, access to education and training. The CETAs, um, you know, oversee the learnership to make sure that the qualifications are, are recognized qualifications that the companies would be offering. So they manage the registrations of the learnership to ensure then that it meets the skills development needs within different sectors. So the CETA makes sure that, you know, they offer qualifications that are one related to the occupation um, or the sector that you are in and then they are also aligned to the NQF to make sure that the new people do uh, get to complete recognized uh, qualifications. The learnerships then uh, work in this way that you, 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 you complete a theoretical course and then you have a practical uh, training part which you do at the employer that you've contracted with and then you graduate. Now the, the part where is the workplace component is hands-on, it's practical, and you will work with your manager, team leader, who will then you know give you guidance, and then the theoretical component, this you do with the training provider, and then this then you know makes up the, the learnership. So it's studying and it's um, you know uh, working at the same time. So just getting to requirements for application for a learnership, you have to be um, older than 16 years and younger than 35. And these are for young people that have completed school, a college, or any other training uh, that you might have done post-metric. So unemployed South Africans are eligible to apply. And you have to, if you're unemployed, you have to do it with an employer. But you can also do a learnership with your current employer if you are in employment. And then to participate then, um, you know, you need to obviously consider what line or what career path you want to take. And then you apply accordingly um, in that sector then for the qualification that you'd like to complete. Partnership have different uh, entry requirements. Obviously, you need to um, check this out, that you meet uh, the requirements. For many of them, uh, you need to have a national certificate or a national senior certificate, vocational, but th then some will be more specific in terms of subject requirements or any skills like uh, computer skills. Now, the benefits to you as a learner, if you do um, a learnership, is that you may have uh, better employment opportunities after you complete your learnership. 
you have a fixed term contract with the employer and obviously you will pick up some skills that you'll be able to to take with you as you uh, build your 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 career and then uh, a big one is that you obtain a nationally uh, recognized qualification and then uh, also in a learnership there is um, an allowance that you will earn for the duration of the learnership but this will depend obviously from company to company it is not a salary it's just an, an allowance that will cover your basic needs like transport etc so the duration of the learnership um, you know will, will, will take uh, the time that you have signed a contract for for example it might be uh, two years it might be a, a year so the learnership and contract of employment run for the same period and then uh, upon completion as i said uh, you will get um, a, 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 a qualification and you would have had to complete obviously some assignments any practical tests you might have to submit projects and you might um, you know attend formal classes as well and if then you are successful in completing all the ass assignments and tests and any form of assessments then you will get an NQF registered qualification that is recognized and you get a certificate then uh, showing that you have completed a learnership. I think that is the greatest thing about a learnership that you, 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 you get a qualification and I think it's very nice for people that don't have funds to further their studies. Um, you know, with some companies, you might uh, get a, an employment contract once you complete your learnership, but it is not guaranteed. But uh, I mean, if a, a, an employer is considering taking some, uh, you know, junior people or they have entry level positions, it makes sense that you would take the people that you've already um, invested some time and, and training into. So this puts you at a better position then to, to, to get into employment, either with the, the company that you were placed at, or you can then, uh, you know, apply for, for, for other roles elsewhere. The learnership agreement then, you know, would come to an end uh, once your, your contract period or your learnership period has ended. And obviously, if there is no offer then for formal employment, then that would be the end of the employment relationship. But I mean, this is a, a really great way of acquiring a qualification and also just uh, getting some practical experience, which then will put you at a competitive advantage over other applicants when you do apply for a job because you would have some experience and you will have a qualification. So it is learnership uh, season with many um, applications closing at the end of uh, April. I hope you have applied. Um, you can access um, you know, learnership, obviously you do a search on the internet. I came across um, a website, www.salearnerships.co.za, but obviously you can cast your net wide and look elsewhere where you can find uh, learnership opportunities. I wish you all the best. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, put on the notification bell so that you don't miss out when I send my next video, share the video and I will see you in the next one everyone. Bye!